Is it? Am I coming in backwards? Breathe that. Breathe in. He's telling me to breathe in. Breathe in. Pardon. <laughs> right. Hello, my name is Martin. Welcome back to another video. So, this is going to test your knowledge of my videos. The Gold Street Gas Works. We've come back. Remember the coat of arms behind us there. So, what brings us back? This chap here, the urban legend on YouTube, sent me a message. He said, you know those gas works you went to? Well, there's a big bit that you missed. And I was like, what? Pondering, pondering, couldn't work out what, uh, what he meant. Anyway, sure enough, last time I was down here at the Gold Street Gas Works, we missed a load of stuff. So I'm gonna take you in today. Only a short explore, but very industrial and worth looking at, uh, just to finish off that video, because uh, obviously we don't like missing bits, do we? So, the urban legend, thank you very much. Check out his YouTube channel. And we're gonna go over now to what remains of the old gas works. Take a look at this. Yeah. Yeah. Squeeze. Yeah. Ah. Interesting. There you go, that's the original video, or that's the thumbnail to the original video, four years ago, 2019, can you believe? So what I'll do is I'll pin a link to that video in the first comment. Just very quickly, if you get any replies to your comments on this video, asking you to go and click a link and win a prize, or go be entered into a prize draw, claiming to be from me, don't click on the link, don't do it, it's spam. YouTube, like everywhere else, is vulnerable to spam. This seems to be a ploy at the moment, replying to comments, claiming to be me, click this link. Hey, click on this link, my telegram, it's not me. I will never ask you to click a link or ask you to enter into a competition, so you can actually report the comments, so just beware of that. Anyway, let's crack on with the video. So I can't believe that I missed this the first time I came, but, uh, yeah, back in the day, I was probably a bit more tamer. Took a look, one look at the entrance and thought, hmm, that's nice, and walked past it. <laughs> so we'll have a look round. It's quite uh, worth looking at. The work here was really dangerous, very dangerous being exposed to all the chemicals. Um, at uh, Rochdale Road Gas Works, you got a free quart of ale a day and a free coffin came with the job. Can you believe it? Look at that, still a bit of coke there as well. Yeah. From the original gas works. Wow, town coke Interesting. gas. Yeah. Town gas. I wonder what this is. Somebody, somebody will know on the channel what this is, I'm sure. It's got like blades in it or something. There's a wheel in the back here. Yeah. Is that like an old. Looks like a churn, maybe. A bit of a milk churn there. Look at the wheel in the back here. Oh, look. It's cool. Oh, yeah. It's not old, though, is it? No, it's not mega old, but it's. Uh, you see the same shape handles. Oh yeah. See the wheel bar, the way the yeah. axle went. Yeah. Four wooden wheel bars there. Look at that. Okay, so where are we this week? Well, we're just outside Manchester city centre. Uh, some of you may recognise this area here, where the old the co-op building is there, and the start of Cheatsmill Road and Victoria Station is just uh, here. But for the purpose of this video, we're looking at Rochdale Road here, Rochdale Road area, just as it enters the city centre. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do, as always, I'm going to turn the time backwards and look at the old maps. And there you go. There's the old map. Uh, this map is dated 1892, 1914. It's my favourite map. And you'll see here the Rochdale Road gas works. There it is, just off Rochdale Road. See the tramway there? And I think we're looking at this area here. This back area is now a car park, so we're investigating 
these sort of areas here. Uh, opened in 1824, an initial call was delivered by horse and cart, and at that time it had about 17 men working there. Later, things escalated, and I don't doubt that the operation grew bigger, and parts, you know, bits got built onto it and it expanded. And um, at its height, it employed 700 men. And uh, you can see here that uh, the Oldham Road Goods Depot here played a major role in getting the coal over to the gas works. Um, interestingly, the corner of this building, Alexandra Place, is just still here and it'll feature later. Anyway, let's crack on. So we just found that chute now, so we're gonna have to get dirty now and go up there, yeah. aren't we? Good we've job we've got the overalls on. Be rude not to. Be rude not to, yeah. Let's go and have a look. It's all right when I went up. Try not to look like a pensioner. <laughs> filthy. Absolutely filthy <sighs> up here. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bloody hell, can't see where I'm going. Into the <laughs> Into the Slipping. Ah. Into the abyss. Into the abyss. Right, get the space up here if you want to come up, boys. Yeah, we're on our way up. <laughs> you made a meal out of that. Was was a you, <laughs> <laughs> so. A filled in area, and that's just filled in. Reminds me a bit of the old uh, railway tunnels that have been oh, yeah. filled in. That's interesting. Right, I'll come out and you can have a look. Okay. I'm chopping these boiler suits. Right. Oh, it's dusty and shitty. Look at this coke again. Come on. Ah. Right, yes, there's more in there. Yeah, so you can see it's pretty much been filled in. Uh, some old iron work up there. It's a shame really because it would have been another room, another chamber. And it's just all got infill now, as you can see there, up to the ceiling. Oh, Don't yeah. move because you'll have the arch down. That's cool. <laughs> well, guys, I'm through there anyway. Yeah, yeah I don't think you'll I get mean, through there. Yeah, it's it's for a slimmer man, that. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, so down here we've got a. Uh, where are we? Oh yeah, so bloody hell. We've got Someone's tried digging that out, haven't they? Yeah. So this is going right underneath. Yeah, are you going under? Uh, no, I'm going to... through there. Yeah, we could do, but I'm not going to. Go um, I'm just going to shove the camera in. Okay, so just in case you're wondering where we are, we'll, I will point out again where we are, but we're in the undercroft of the buildings of the gas, the gas works. That's where it's sort of like the, the basements that are left behind. So I can't see what you're looking at there now, but... Uh, I'll look at it later. I'm not sure what you're looking at. Oh. So good to get back. I can't believe I missed all this bit, but again, it would have been. Uh, I don't think we were dressed appropriately for it for it on the day. I don't know if this is going to come down, be, be pulled down or not, because I know above. I think is another car park or yard or something. So well, it'll probably just stay put. Brick, no air vents or nothing on it. Might have been just decoration. Yeah, there is. There's one of the shafts as well. If I come round here, I'll... what's the adventurous type? What's in there? Anything we're seeing? Not really, but what they've done is, if you come down, I'll show this. So something's been there, hasn't it? Against the wall there, which we don't know what it was. Uh, and then to the city wall, oh, there's a shaft. Yeah, look at that. That reminds me of Mapley Tunnel. I don't know why. You'll know what I mean. You're struggling, James. <laughs> Interesting stuff. Ah, home from home for you, that, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Home from home. Okay, so this is Britain from above, 1939. This is Rochdale Road here, as you can see. The gas works is here. Looks like they had storage down at the bottom end here, near to the railway line. The River Irk is, where's the River Irk? Is over here, here. An area we've covered a lot of this area in our videos. This is Angel Meadow. 
It's now a little pocket park. It used to be an old burial ground. Uh, and as you can see there in 1939, it was a park. Back to the gas works. I want to sort of speculate as to which part we're exploring. It went down in levels. I think we're exploring underneath these three buildings here. I think we're underneath in the basement of these three buildings. All this area here is now a car park. Um, obviously, these have gone. There's bits of walls remaining of them, but we're underneath down here in the undercroft of these buildings. Um, we suspect that from Oldham Road Goods Depot here, coal came across Rochdale Road, came in here and was probably dumped for storage, and then somehow found its way over here to the uh, the buildings. I could be wrong, because if you look, there's a railway feed going that way as well. So I'm not quite sure, but there's holes in the ceiling and we wondered if coal was dumped down through the holes into the bottom and it was brought out into the works here. I'm only speculating, but this definitely went, this has gone without a trace now, um, but we're underneath these buildings here, that's where we are. The coat of arms at the start of the video was just, I think it's that building there, and as I say, it goes down on levels here. Gasometer's long since gone. Well, there you go. That's just an overview for you of how it looked in 1939 and where I suspect we're actually exploring, which is that area there. Seven, four. Yeah. Done it. Looks a bit more. Yeah. A bit more spectacular looking now. Up to climb, actually. Shall I go down it? Yeah. Royston going down there. Backfield. There you go. No, oh. Oh my That's the way to do it, Will. You don't do that. I won't be doing that though, I'm afraid. James, you'll do that because gravity will send you down. <laughs> right, coming down now. <laughs> I'm going down before James because if he disturbs it all, he's staying behind. <laughs> he's still looking about up there. Try to look cool as you come down. Try not to look like There you go. Bloody <laughs> hell. Filthy. Filthy. Shit in now. <laughs> Like a kid in the sandpit. <laughs> oh, right. It's been bricked up there. Oh yeah, yeah. So there's been something. Obviously, that's been the way out there somehow. And then there's a view going down the other way. Just go. Yeah, that's it. And that's it. This is the bit we missed last time. Yeah, nature finds a way. Look at that roof coming through there. Because there's a bit of water yeah. ingress here, and it's found the water, isn't it? Well, it almost looks like a pipe, doesn't it? But yeah. it's not. Interesting. Oh, so the gas works, the gift that just keeps on giving. So behind this wall, behind these walls here, you see these big, big arches you can see here. Uh, well, there's more of them chambers, but we can't get to them. Uh, there is a little hole in the uh, in the wall here. I'm going to send the GoPro through and we'll have a look inside. Pretty much more of what we've seen, but more to explore. Can't get to it. Lights, please. He's a good lad. He's under the doctor for his... Uh, Addiction to cream cakes. <laughs> Look at that haircut. Like a 1940s evacuee. Now in the original video I showed uh, some photo, an old photograph just taken from Rochdale Road um, and you can just see the building over there. Where is it? Where's the building gone? See the old building there? 
um, that is now a boutique hotel but it showed some uh, I think he showed a, a truck on some rails coming across Rochdale Road into the gas works the rails are long since gone on Rochdale Road but we found them look at them and it looks like there's like a cross in here there. look at that see how they went and then if we go over here the actual rail is still there look at that the actual rail is still there so from what I understand, I think over there was the Oldham Road goods depot. So there was a rail link just to over there, beyond the building there, you see behind me. Beyond the building there, there was a rail link to there. And they probably would have brought coal across. And it does make sense that they dumped it here, down into those arches where we've just been. And then took it onwards. You see beyond there where the building site is, there's a car park just down there. That's where the gas works was. So it does make sense actually that what we've just been looking at was the actual storage place because that was probably the main feed from Oldham Road Good Step Hole there. Yeah, that's going back a bit, a bit of Manchester history. So uh, it's strange the way they never completely uh, eradicated the place because uh, as you see there, the old arch is there. Um, Although it looks like something might be going on because there's all sorts of bits of excavations here where they're looking at what's underneath and I think they're testing out so whether they're going to pull all this down finally and then uh, actually uh, start building, if you look here. So it does seem odd, doesn't it? They seem to be digging to see what's underneath. I imagine this is very contaminated land. I'm going to go around that side and get your best shot with it lit. Now, whether that's natural or whether that's just, uh, you know, uh, just layers of rubbish that they've piled up there, hard to tell, isn't it? What's that? Old railway side. Railway side. Old oh, plastic. Shit, <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Exploring with <laughs> Hillocks. There's more to be seen over here. So it looks like there's stickage in the entire area. Or they have been in the past digging it up, seeing what's underneath on the gas works. And there's some over here, I don't know what it is, I'm gonna show you. Oh wow. And there you go. That is what remains. Yeah. Look at the girders on that. So we've got remains of rooms there and everything. Uh, railway track in the middle there. And you see the uh, the beams down there, the girders down there. See them? Wow. So there's even more railway tracks here. So these would have obviously, like I say, bought trucks in full of uh, coal to be treated at the uh, the gas works for the process. Look at them flipping girders there. Incredible. Wait a minute, look at that. And obviously this is um, this hasn't been seen for many, many years. Oh. These are probably possibly tops of chambers here. And look at that, the railway line. Got to watch where you step in here. Small railway, railway line. Railway line. Yeah. 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 Drainage. Right, so we've got a closer look at this void. I want to show you this because it's absolutely brilliant. Victorian, Edwardian, bomb-proof, sort of like built. It's got girders on it like nothing that still this girls that could probably still hold up the uh, the world. Uh, there's a nice pillar down there and there's a void, so I'm gonna show you this. What a love. Look at this pillar. Look at the top of that pillar there. Wow. And of course. <laughs> Boy's gotta go one more than a pig. <laughs> <laughs> nothing ventured, nothing gained. Right, love you. What have we got in there? Oh, please, I get in there. Please, that's the way it, have well. you been in there? Yeah, that's the way in. This is the way to Narnia. Recording. Just keep the torch. Breathe that. Breathe in. Turn around. In a minute, face the camera. 
Leave him. Yeah, you lot just sit at home, just enjoy yourself. In fact, I'll wait here while you make another brew cellar. Right, I think we're in. It's full of earth bricks, uh, lovely vaulted ceilings. James is going to pass me the camera now and I'm going to show you. There you go, that's where we've come from. And that's where we are. Look at them. So, yeah, very nice. <laughs> it was going down for girders, I suppose. See, I thought that was daylight over there, but it's tin foil, isn't it? Tin foil. Oh, no, hang on, there is. There's a, there is an hole somewhere. Turn your light off. I'm sure I saw a light coming through. Turn the light off. There you go. Yeah, there is. There's daylight there, see? Uh, absolutely nowhere to rest. I'll go through there. I think there's more. This is what gets me. It's the vaulted ceilings I love. Uh, and it really is a case of looking back in time and here, isn't it? I don't think anyone's been in here for a while. The bricks are interesting. They've got VC on them. And I love this old ironwork here. I just hope it holds out, although it looks like I can break it with my hands. So we won't spend a lot of time in here. Big old pipe there. Yeah. Bang dread? Yeah, I banged my head a few times, pal. <laughs> I hope everyone's okay at home. I hope you're uh, all having a brew. <laughs> if it goes now, I get chopped in half. <laughs> there you go, like a sprightly pensioner. <laughs> see these vaulted ceilings here, see the top of them? Because that's what we've just been underneath. Uh, all the brickwork here and then uh, something else has been bolted on here somewhere interesting that because they seem to do that was this when do you reckon like a while ago i don't know when it was demolished well they've got this habit of the whenever it was done of demolishing the top bits and just throwing everything into the voids underneath and not actually destroying the voids underneath hmm that's interesting i wonder if it's happened somewhere else just saying anyway let's crack on Right, let's get a torch down here. Ma this might just be a no, manhole. It's a manhole to a drain. Is it? It's a fair way down, so... Yeah, but... Let's see. No, no. No. What have we got there? Narrow or... Go, go full. Full. You can see the steps. Yeah. See, step the step irons. see the step irons there, and then we've got water down there. Look what that is. The shoe's drain on there, really. Mm. Back to the sewer. Mm. So there you go. What remains of the Gold Street Gasworks. Anyway, thank you Urban Legend for showing us that, the bit I missed a few years ago. It was a pleasure. Check out his YouTube channel. Thanks Roy, in his new overalls. <laughs> Thanks James, looking like somebody off, uh, thingy off Coronation Street, what's it called? <laughs> yeah, <Jeffrey> anyway, <laughs> anyway <laughs> thanks very much for watching, take care, see you in the next video, bye for now. So I'm, I'm filthy, you're semi sort of dirty. Why are you so clean? Yeah, I'm not a worm. Like, like, you're you're like, like, you're it looks like, uh, looks like arse off Coronation. You remember Ars who used to work on Coronation Street? He worked in that garage. He was called, was he called Benny? I think so. Or was he called Ars? I can't remember. Oh, but he looked like he had done a day's nice work. Nice and clean. Why is Marty today? He's isn't? like a slug. He's so slow at everything. <laughs> Where's my torches? Oh, I broke a bleeding